everyone welcome back to my channel rj trades if you have not like or subscribe please do that and click that bell button so that um, you know when i'm um, live or uh, when i've uploaded any new video so today we're gonna talk a lot of people ask me like they want to know where do you see the uh, profit or loss for debit spread and um, how do you calculate the profit and loss like if uh, if the apple price increased by two dollars or three dollars like uh, what will be your profit so we're gonna show all those things in this video so let's get it started right so this is apple so this is tasty work um, you can pretty much use any platform pretty much will be the same but uh, we'll just use tasty work in this example right so long call vertical so i'm gonna select long call vertical which means long call vertical is basically a debit spread so debit spread it did choose um, 16 day expiration so we're gonna adjust uh, uh, so apple is at 107 right now so let's say we want to do 110 and 15. so in the debit spread your buy leg should be uh, the strike price should be less than your sell sell leg that's a debit so basically it's a net debit so if you just got the buy leg it would have been 340 dollars since you have a sell leg too your cost is decreased to 163 dollars today so it will probably change tomorrow but uh, you get the idea so this is so 163 is your cost right that's your cost so what's your max profit your max profit is width of the debit spread what is width is basically you subtract this um, the strike price here in this case it's five 115 minus 110 that's five so basically max you can get by selling this is 500 but you did pay 163 for this right so your, your max profit is 500 minus 163 which comes to 337 that's that's all you can get it but to get the max profit it has to be an expiry if you if if apple even goes to 116 or 17 or 18 you're not gonna max profit you will get more than what you paid so basically maybe it will be 250 or 300 or even 400 depending where the price is at but to get the max profit it has to be an expiration so um, i'm gonna just go to a little less expiration uh, but yeah uh, 10 15 uh, so uh, we have nine days so which is next week uh, doesn't matter but just for the example so again 145 this is the cost for this so you can make it 500 minus 145 so 340 355 is your max profit right and let's look at the sum number right delta for each dollar up so um apple is 107 right for each dollar up you will make 18 dollars it will increase as you go more but in the basic term so if it goes from 107 to 108 you'll just uh, made make 18 bucks so basically the uh, the this vertical spread will be about 145 150 165 right so if it goes two dollars you add another 20 bucks and you have a gamma too but let's not make it complicated there's theta too each day the price remains same you will lose five dollars so uh, it will be 140 tomorrow if it opens flat day after tomorrow if it opens flat and remember theta will increase as you approach your expiration so that's why it's better to sell before expiration unless you are very very deep in the money but deep in the money what you seems like a deep in the money may not be deep in the money by expiration so you need to be careful i'm going to show you a good tool analysis tool so where you can actually do um so this is 145 right so if you go here click here and what you do is you can just click here theo price and expiration so you can actually see so uh this is theo so basically it's just showing a negative seven right now so we'll just assume that's what um, you got today and you are negative seven so that's your net profit and loss so if the price goes one dollar up you made ten eleven dollars right if it goes two dollar up you made 30 if it goes three dollar up you made 49 if you go me i mean four dollars up so this is apple price so this is theoretical spot price right so as the price go up you will make this much again this is rough estimate it's not exactly one to one because there's a iv there's a theta gamma and a lot of variables and those changes so you get the idea so you can actually see how much making also since you are not at expiration this is the same day if you change the date see 24 89 25 a little bit more right 
so you make less you make less because you are just uh, 112 only but if you go 113 you make more if you go there more right so you can just play around with like so on expiration right on the day of expiration if it's 113 you made 167 if it's 114 you made that if it's 115 you made max that's your max so if it's whatever then it's your max so you got the idea so you can actually play around and see your profit and other thing is like a lot of people right if you go to most of the platform it will actually show um, the what's up uh, so whenever you buy it right so in let's say robin hood so if you click the spreads and uh, it will show you exactly how much percent you are up what's its value so it will exactly show you right there so uh, if you go to test your work um, the mobile app too it shows so pretty much all platform actually show how much profit or how much you are losing so uh, you can kind of you don't even need to do all these uh, calculations or whatever but that's about it for today thank you thank you very much um, have a great day and yeah if you have any question or comments uh, do uh, comment below that's it thanks